Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Asus VivoBook laptop. This particular one, it's a model F512 uh, F version. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your SSD drive uh, or remove your mechanical hard drive and upgrade it, replace it with an SSD drive. Or if you want to re replace your M.2 drive to a bigger uh, capacity, I'm going to show you guys in this video. All right. So let's get into it and let's get it started. First thing first, you want to flip over the laptop. And there is a few tools that you need. Tool number one is a screwdriver set. I use this screwdriver set. It's from iFixit tool set. And they have really nice bits. These are S2 class steel. They will last you a long time, unlike the other brands. From this set, we're going to use the Phillips number zero. And you will need an opening tool. They also come with a tool set pack, a very pro version that includes you with the opening tools. But in, for the sake of this video, I'm going to use a guitar pick. It's pretty much the same thing. So a metallic guitar pick. It has a really nice soft edges. Down here, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws on the bottom cover. There are three types of screws in this laptop on the bottom cover. So the front end of the laptop has one, two, three, four screws. These are the shortest screws. So go ahead and remove these ones. And now let's go ahead and remove the mid, two side, and two corner back. These are the medium square uh, screws. Also, I really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys. All right. There we got the medium screws. So those are the short screws, the medium screws, and the only long screws is the far back mid. This one is the longest screw. All right. Once you got all the screws out, you want to open up the laptop in 45 degree angle. Now what you want to do here, you want to stick the guitar pick or you open it to about two or three millimeters in between the top and the bottom cover. So somehow slide it down there, try to find a way to get in there, just like that. All right, now what you want to do, you just want to twist it and work your way around to the sides all the way around. You want to go like this all the way to the back end, to the corner. To the left and to the right side. All right, once you did the front and the sides, you want to close it down. You want to work on the back end, right behind the grill, right at the back. You want to stick it right there in the middle somewhere. You stop on the corner, right there. And then you just want to pop it open, work your way around, and that's it. Now you want to put it down flat, and this is the bottom cover. Now for this next step, uh, most people is going to tell you that now you must remove the battery, you have to remove the battery. The battery is not important to remove the battery as long as you power off the laptop. You can replace the hard drive, the RAM, the SSD drive, you can replace them with no problem. This is your mechanical hard drive right here. This is a 2.5 inch mechanical drive. So if you want to upgrade this one to a bigger one, you can place any SSD SATA drive in there, 2.5 inch. So grab yours. If you want to grab one ter terabyte or two terabyte, grab your SSD. Now down here, you want to lift this jack 90 degrees. So lift this white cover upward, 90 degrees like that, and then pull out the ribbon cable. The hard drive has no uh, screws, so you just have to lift it up. It's being held down by this rubber shock absorbent. It's kind of tough it in there. If you try to pull this up, you might rip it up, so don't pull it out. 
uh, try to get yourself a, a hard tweezers and put it right at the back at the all the way to the bottom and lift it up and then bring it up this is a Toshiba one terabyte hard drive to replace it you have to just pull this rubber whatever you want to call it take it out in the same position put it down now you're going to remove this foil tape right here you can rip it apart or you can try to peel it off it's not really necessary and then remove the don't pull on the cable just remove the uh, the adapter for the SATA adapter now you don't need this uh, aluminium thing right here it's not necessary it's not going to do anything but if you want to you can just peel it off from here and put it on the other one all right now what you want to do here you want to grab your ssd put it inside the caddy right there this rubber has to be over look even they did a bad job here the rubber is almost glued down to the other side so quality control eh, not too great so brace that one there bring the other end All right. once you have it in there grab the connector it only goes in one way so you cannot put it the other way around so pop it in there bring it over align it push down all right uh, i messed up so it was the other way around so yeah so remember this side has to be upward so yeah put this one down remember this arrow things this side has to be at the upside once you have it there bring it down align it and you stick it down now next step is to put the ribbon cable there most people have a problem putting this ribbon cable it's not a flat ear ribbon it has a little hinges on the side little ear lobes right here so what you want to do lift up the cover and then you want to bring it down in 45 stick it all the way in and then push it towards the motherboard so it has to be the ear lobes has to be inside and then you want to close the lid just like that all right now that we have this ssd right there and right over here this is your other m.2 ssd you cannot put an nvme drive here only m.2 ssds can be placed here so if you go ahead and put an nvme it's not gonna work this is 128 gigabyte m.2 to remove it there's only one screw right over here remove the single screw and the stick is gonna come up in 45 degree angle just like that and you want to pull it out in the same direction 45 degree angle okay don't yank it upward otherwise you're going to break the contact okay uh, you can place a two terabyte m.2 drive in here i'll leave the link in the description or you can upgrade it to a better version which is a samsung models brand is much better than this ones to put it in you want to make sure you bring a face up 45 degree angle push it towards the contact make sure it goes all the way in and then bring it towards the motherboard make sure this loop right here matches the screw holes right there beside the screw hole hold it down and put the only screw that holds it in place and that's it now if you upgrade this one you're not going to have any operating system you have to go to the microsoft website download the windows media creator and it will automatically download the windows iso in, inside your usb drive so you can plug it in and boot it up and install your windows just under 10 minutes also this is the worst heat sink system that i ever seen there's no heat piping or any fans or anything like that the air comes here it just flows over goes over here and it just goes back from down there so it's pretty much cooling down a tiny copper sheet right here so this is not a good one but anyway all right the last thing would be to grab the top cover or bottom cover bring it over push down the corners push down the side make sure you hear those clicks 
go all the way around to the back make sure you those clicks the front end you don't want to press too hard you just want to open up the laptop and you just want to pinch it down with two hands just pinch it really hard and it's going to close down if you see any gap just pinch it all right and the last thing would be to put the screws at the bottom cover remember the four small screws that are in the front end of the laptop the only big screw would be the back far mid and the rest it goes wherever you see a screw hole again thank you for watching and i hope you guys like this video and if you do click that thumbs up button and i'll see you guys in my next video